welcome to the print this is akanksha mishra and you're watching scientifics where i will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world i'm sure you all must have heard about the women's biological clock and how women are usually advised to have children and reproduce sooner in their lives however is the biological clock actually true in the scientific sense Well, Penn State University in the United States did a study to assess the health of the egg cells in women as they aged and to see whether the eggs actually aged with them. They found that while the cells in the rest of the body aged faster, egg cells were protected from these mutations and did not age as fast. This indicates that women's bodies are designed to ensure that their reproductive cells are protected and preserved across a woman's lifespan. The biological clock argument then might not be entirely rooted in biology. Next up, the world might be ready for its latest technological move as sodium batteries developed by the University of Chicago are now almost as effective as lithium ion ones. while also being cheaper and more sustainable the researchers at the pritzker school of molecular engineering in chicago have developed all solid state batteries which means that they are more powerful in energy storage for electric vehicles electronics and renewable grids now lithium which is mainly used in these solid state batteries is very scarce it's expensive and it's environmentally damaging to mine lithium not to mention the geopolitical issues to procure lithium so the u chicago scientists use sodium instead it's abundant it's low cost and less harmful to extract and the new variant that the researchers made has more energy density and can almost match a lithium battery in its electrochemical performance there's still a long way to go both in the science and in market readiness but this still marks a major breakthrough next up Imagine humans have discovered an asteroid hit the earth 11 million years ago except we cannot find the crater. So how do we know that there was an asteroid in the first place? Well, scientists from Curtin University in Australia have identified a type of natural glass or tektite which is found only in parts of South Australia. These natural glass fragments were most likely formed when the asteroid struck the earth with immense force. It melted away the earth's surface rock and hurled fragments of it miles away into the atmosphere. So when these pieces of melted rock flew in the air, they cooled rapidly. They turned into glass and then hit the earth again. Tektites are thus clues about the Earth's geological history, such as of asteroids and meteorites, and they can help scientists trace back dates and timelines. By analyzing tektites in South Australia, which date back exactly 11 million years, the Curtin University researchers were able to tell that the Earth was indeed hit by an asteroid at that time, even though there's no sign of its crater yet. Finally, we all know that lead toxicity and poisoning are a grave threat to humans because it can lead to learning difficulties, brain damage and even neural issues especially in children. However, did you know that humans have been exposed to lead way before they were even humans? A study by University of California San Diego found that even Neanderthals from 2 million years ago were found with lead traces in their skulls. So how did humans overcome lead toxicity? The answer is in one gene which is known as NOVA1 gene which differs between modern humans and Neanderthals a little slightly. Laboratory experiments conducted by UC San Diego researchers showed that lead negatively affected both the gene variants of NOVA1. But in the older NOVA1 gene, that is the one that's found in Neanderthals, it also led to the disruption in the FOXP2 gene, which is essential for language. So this modern NOVA1 mutation, which we all have, is what protected humans from losing access to complex language, social cohesion, and advanced communication as opposed to Neanderthals when exposed to lead. Yet, high levels of lead poisoning can still impact human health even now. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into the print.